We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, action figure collectors, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for tuning in for another Black Series review. We're looking at the Phase 2 Clone Trooper from the one of the latest waves. Um, we've had like three waves dumped in the last like, month. Um, yeah, latest wave, uh, Phase 2 Clone. Here's number 14 in the Clone Wars, uh, which is cool. Uh, so, yeah, a little bio on the back there. Improvements to clone armor and equipment were made throughout the Clone Wars. By its final battles, nearly all clones had switched to the improved Phase 2 armor. So, yeah, I wasn't initially going to pick this one up. Um, but just seeing a few reviews, I've decided it's too good. And I decided to pick one up. <laughs> Definitely hoping to get a second one as well. Um, and, yeah, so far I'm very, very impressed. So... Yeah, we're almost at the end of the uh, plastic-free packaging. But, um, yeah, Magna Guard there on the right being the next one. I'll try and track that one down at some point. Even though most most reviews have been unfavourable towards the Magna Guard. But, I don't know, you've got to have a couple. And um, if we can pose them right, we can, we can work on it. So, let's take a look at the Clone Trooper. Because, uh, yeah, I'm digging this clone. So, accessory-wise, does come with the two blasters, as most clones have over the years. So, there's nothing sort of groundbreaking there. They're all sort of the same sculpts we've had before. It's the longer rifle. So, it's not bad. Now, the figure is... You know, it's a fantastic looking clone. Really, really happy with how this one's turned out. Um, you know, sort of swayed off of the, the three and three quarter inch clones just because the phase twos, they just haven't got the helmets right. They're just, the helmets are too big. Um, I would rather, if they're going to do, you know, just regular sort of grunts like this one, they were stuck with the, uh, just with a, with a solid head sculpt with the helmet, just to keep those sizing issues uh, right, but uh, yeah, Hasbro just continue to choose to put removable helmets on, um, and this is one of them too, coming in six inch. But for me, it, it it's working. It's it's looking good. There have been some over the years where they've been a little bit disproportionate, misformed. In the Phase One uh, re-release, which came out in this line of Black Series from Attack of the Clones. Uh, was one where the uh, the shape of the helmet was a little bit, I don't know, askew based on the head sculpt underneath because they sort of glued it to a a non non painted head sculpt. Uh, but for me, looking around at this one, it's uh, the proportions look good to me. It doesn't look oversized. It doesn't look misshapen or anything. I think if if anything, probably the paint details particularly around the visor and some of these sort of gray elements that could be a little sharper but if that's if that's not the only sort of gripe I have you know maybe there's a couple of little paint applications there missing perhaps but um yeah I feel like if, if the paint apps on the visor there kind of just sort of see through the middle there if it were just a little bit sharper you can see a little bit sort of missing up in the corner though. Overall, this one's not too bad. I've seen a few reviews that have sort of pointed that out at the same time. But in terms of the sculpt, you know, it's all pinless. It's great. Uh, looks good. I believe this is the third iteration of the clones. The clone Trooper bodies. And before I continue, I'm going to grab a couple other older ones and we'll compare. So just to compare, here is the initial clone sculpt on the 501st. Uh, this is the original one from the 4-pack, not the archive release. Don't know if there was too much difference. It was just a complete reuse of the sculpt, obviously. You know, the solid helmet. Which, looking at it now, it's it still looks alright, but um, I don't know. There's quite a bit of difference between the two. Obviously, you've got the pins in the elbows, which is a little bit of an eyesore. Pins in the in the legs there. 
Overall, it's just, it still holds up on the shelf. I'm not gonna get rid of any of them. It still looks good to me. But um, yeah, they've definitely gone back to the drawing board. The next one we got was this one. This was used for a few different releases. And uh, yeah, the helmet is glued in place. This is where they went for a sort of slightly more animated look where they were getting rid of the uh, the black sort of brow brow bands around the figure and they did this with this one um, the 332nd and maybe maybe the Bad Batch Shock Trooper can't remember but for the most part I believe the sculpt is all the same there doesn't appear to be any major differences in terms of sculpt If there is, I'm not seeing it. There's some ever so slight tweaks. Yeah, the legs definitely look different to me. Maybe they're not. Just looking with the naked eye, they're not. The thing that differs with this one is the, uh, the knee pads and they haven't fixed them down so you can have them you know, down or up, however you, however you want to display them. They're a little bit looser fitting, so you can allow for that movement. Whereas this one, they stuck them in that up position where most people would prefer to have them on the knees. So if you've got them in a, in a crouching position, they're actually using the knee plate. Um, and the same for the elbows on this one. Whereas, you know, that's probably not actually a big problem having it up there, but this one allows that sort of, or does it? I thought it did. My mistake. It isn't. There is a tiny little. No, I thought it was moving before. Never mind. Never mind. Don't listen to me. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, with this one, a removable helmet with a painted clone head. Yeah, not bad. Not probably not as detailed as he could be, and certainly not as detailed as some of the others that have, you know, had sort of the realistic look. Echo 5's Jesse, for example. A little bit more simple. That sort of five o'clock shadow. And the eyes just don't have the sort of detail. But, you know, for the most part, this one is going to just stay on. But, yeah, it doesn't look misshapen or anything, which is great. I'm, I'm happy with that. The helmet sort of just, it's molded nicely so that it fits on. So that was a, that was a good fix, going back to the drawing board for the clones. Um, and, yeah, honestly, I hope, I hope they get a lot of use out of this one particularly with some phase two, just plain clones. Like this is a figure you could release a lot and people will continue buying much like Stormtroopers. You know, we, we do, would love to army build. It's not expensive. It's not a cheap way to uh, do it with black series, but um, you know, if we could all get a couple each, I reckon we'd be pretty happy. You know, some people could spend that extra money and build up a little squad of 12 or something. But I've seen a lot of people sort of talking about the chin. You can sort of see the clone's chin underneath, but, you know. You get the helmet on the right angle. You can hide that. You can see it a little bit, but ah, it's not a big problem. The other thing you could do is just colour in the chin, paint the chin black, just so it is sort of hidden. But overall, it's a good one. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. Love to see Captain Rex get a get a new release. Obviously, his will be slightly different with his sort of Phase Two armor. This is a nice looking clone. This is a nice sort of clean white clone. And the thing I love about it is double trigger fingers so you can have double pew pews or that way you can have them you know each holding on either side 
like it doesn't, you can pick which side you want to have him holding his weapon, whereas in these, you know, one trigger hand, one sort of just gripping hand, whereas this is double bow bows, which I dig, I like that a lot. Uh, articulation wise, well, let's pop off his helmet again. He does have the double barbell in the top of the neck and top of the head there. He's got the neck joint, which is nice. So you can get some good, good range of head movement there. There's a ball hinge in the shoulder. The butterfly joint is in there nicely as well. And that sort of shoulder bell part sort of rotates in there with the shoulder. So that's nice. It's always going to be out of the way. We have an upper bicep swivel there, which is fantastic. Nice range on the elbow, that hinge. And again, you got that sort of joint there as well. Ball hinge in the wrists. So this one's an in and out, that one's an up and down wrist. The joint here in the torso gets a fair range of movement there, which is good. The joint in the uh, the barbell in the in the thighs, the swivel with the in, hidden in the armor there, which is nice. Again, good joint there in the knees. So you get a good bend, and in the ankles with the rocker, pretty nice, very nicely articulated, and just just a nice looking clone. I'm very very happy with this one and give him a cool pose. Yeah, you do whatever you want. He's a bit of a pretzel, which is good. You can get him moving around a fair bit. Yeah, definitely on the uh, on the lookout for another one of these. I used to stick with my rule of two for troops. You know, I've got to have at least two. Yeah, I'm I'm not super super picky about that anymore. But this one, yeah, he's gonna need a he's gonna need a pal. I think. So I like it. Nice, nice sculpt, nice details, nice sort of matte black on the armour, not too glossy. Again, just sort of, if there's sort of helmet, sort of paint job, paint apps would just a little bit crisper, and get really pop nicely. You can sort of see from the bottom of the grey there, it's just a little bit off. But that's alright, it's fine. If anyway, folks, love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments below. Thank you very much for tuning in. I do appreciate your time. And uh, back more, back with some more reviews very soon. Till then, may the force be with you. Always.